Ironically, this whole se this the, her sentence was given to her by a female magistrate. Now, usually, these kind of cases, what happens is you get slapped with a fine. Yeah, you'll be told, okay, pay a thousand dollars, pay two thousand dollars, pay a million shillings, whatever. But the fellow woman magistrate, this is where women on women hate is insane. I mean, it's so insane. Uh, the fellow woman magistrate by the name of Gladys Kamasanyu. She said she opted for a prison sentence rather than fire than a fine because Stella showed no remorse and because incidents of cyber harassment were on the rise. Now, um, <laughs> Stella kind of lost it <laughs> during the proceedings, uh, you know, exposing her breasts and just, <laughs> you know, like swearing, like, like, you know, like a drunk Irishman. Uh, so viewer discretion is advised, but you know, people are just fed up. People are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Take a listen to this and, uh, viewer discretion is advised. We'll be right back. Wake up, Africa! Okay, guys have been catching feelings because I've been laughing. <laughs> but seriously, oh my gosh, like she's just sick and tired of being. I totally get, you know, where she's coming from. And, you know, 
the the hearing was so heated they couldn't even bring her in uh to the courthouse so she was charged via teleconference literally and uh through a video feed from the maximum prison eh, but did you see how like her bra matched her outfit <laughs> sorry guys i know you guys catch feelings like come on Stop taking yourself so seriously. But anyway, I was just like, she looked good. Like, everything was very well thought out. Um, and, you know, you could, did you see the guards? <laughs> that that was, it was so uncomfortable. She's like... Oh my, god. oh my god no but seriously uh stella said that she accepted the punishment gladly she was saying she was born for this moment but to be very honest like and excuse me for guys who catch feelings because i'm laughing i mean sometimes if you don't laugh and you're reporting this kind of nonsense every day what do you want me to do like cry but seriously you know this is really sad and um she will be in prison for nine months and it just shows revolution in uganda is imminent like revolution is imminent in uganda i mean museveni as much as he wants to be a lifetime president he should do what i'm like moi did like just step aside man just be just be easy just be cool instead of doing this thing and he needs to reel in these people because it's looking crazy although let me just mention that her crude behavior uh has actually divided uganda and divided public opinion with many chauvinistic men uh basically and old school women alike feeling she went too far with her expletives and she shouldn't have been saying sugar this and sugar that and sugar you and sugar you um and and, you know, but people are sick and tired of being sick and tired, let me tell you. And so a lot of people kind of weighed in on the debate of, you know, whether she went too far, was her language too vulgar. Uh, there's a lady called Rosabel Kagumire, because this really split Uganda, like, boom. Uh, she said, you know, so Stella challenges the morality and the moral fabric of, fabric of society, what people hold as moral she shakes this up and says, no, we can say these words and can use them to shock and use pub pub public insults against people in power. And you know what? Literally, let me tell you, with the way Uganda is being clamped down, sometimes all the people have is public insults. Like, that's all they have. Because a life can just, you know, a life is like, it's expendable, you know? And um, we have a real, real problem you know, because the revolution, sometimes we're told the enemy is in a me, and I don't think there's any more <laughs> thing that's more honest than, you know, about Africa and, and who we are and when the enemy, who the enemy is and everything, you know. And her statement was, you know, I planned to offend you worry, you worry Museveni because he's offended us <laughs> for the last 30 plus years. My children do not deserve a mother who is silent. I refuse to stay silent in the face of oppression and in the face of dictatorship. I will sacrifice motherhood to whatever altar. I don't know what she meant by that. Uh, I have to sacrifice motherhood too so my children can raise their voices against African dictators. You know, a lot of revolutions, people don't report this because, um, you know, the men wrote history. So not only did the white man kick women out of history, but the men also kicked their women out of history. But a lot of revolutions actually kicked off because women were sick and tired of being sick and tired. And what Stella shows us is that when women, women are starting to get come to the forefront, women are starting to say, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And when you see that, revolution is imminent. And, you know, we also did see Bobby Wine getting charged with, um, you know, offending the president. This is just getting crazy. Um, but it does show you that, you know, it's just, it, things are changing. Things are changing. Is Stella the best choice for Uganda? Would she make a good president? I know she's offended all the men. Because I told you guys, Bobby Wine is a, a Western puppet. We'll get into it right now. But change is coming to Uganda. I just hope it will be beneficial to the people. Until next time. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up.